A coastal cleanup drive will be organized by the International Union for Conservation of Nature along Suva and Lemmy shores. The organization's energy program officer, Andrew Ivrin, said that this event is hosted to create awareness on coastal pollution. The, the main justification for hosting uh, a large-scale Suva Harbor cleanup day, it's on Saturday, September 19th, it's the International Coastal Cleanup Day, so we thought this would be a, a good time appropriate opportunity to raise awareness on a larger scale. I mean a lot of organizations uh, independently hold cleanup days. You'll see people coming down by the foreshore with bags. The IUCN has been working with other organizations in trying to create awareness through this event. We've worked with Department of Lands, uh, uh, Department of Environment, Lamy Town Council, Suva City Council on this and Ministry of Education we've engaged with to get students involved in building art out of all the waste we collect. And Mr. Andrew also said that there are many preventative measures that can be practiced to stop the rise in coastal pollution. Yeah, a, a big part of it, we'll have a waste, a household waste survey as well, so people can say how much waste their household generates, what type of waste, if it's you know cooking waste, if it's packaging waste. A big part of it is demanding from the private sector uh, that you don't provide products in disposable packaging. However, a member of the public said that the people should stop throwing rubbish along the coast as it pollutes the environment. We encourage each other too, you know, by disposing the rubbish, uh, it will be pollute our environment and pollute the seashore like uh, we have a nice breeze. Here people use uh, this uh, seashore regarding for their training and uh, exercising every day. Yeah. There has been an increase in the coastal pollution along Suva area recently. The IUCN has appealed to the public to come out in numbers to support the International Coastal Cleanup Day this Saturday. This is Grace Narayan for Once Owara News.